Hi, welcome back, I'm Ellie. Let's build. This is one of the Lego Friends March releases, which I managed to get. I mean, it's a little bit into March now. Still waiting for the rest of them to make their way to me. But this is the first of the March wave that I was able to get my hands on. This is the pet playground. The March wave is very, very pet themed heavy. This is 210 pieces a set. So the details, $33 here in Australia, $20 in the US. Google it to find out what it is in whatever your country is. It depends, you know, it depends upon your current. Currency. So it's not a terribly expensive set. There are two bags, two books, and a whole world of poppers. No, I shouldn't get too excited yet. Let's meet each of the characters as we go along. So the mini dolls. Andrea's in this set with a new skirt bottom part. <laughs> Yeah, that was succinct, wasn't it? I love the little black detailing on the bottom of her skirt. It's very, very nice. Just a fine little detail, but it makes a world of difference. Her top is also brand new with a pink meshy top and a black belt with a fancy old belt buckle. Printing goes all the way around. And the printing looks really, really schmick on this, so I'm very excited, very happy. Face print, exactly the same as we've seen for many, many incarnations of Andrea, as is her hair, but her outfit is entirely new, so we this is very exciting. Now, Andrea is joined by puppies, three of them. So this dog is not a new mold, but a new print. Pretty sure it's a new print. I haven't seen this gray muzzle, I don't think, on any, any of the current LEGO Friends dogs and there's two of the puppies like the, the weenie ones which we have seen before so there's a brown one with a little heart of the eye and the baby Dalmatian, Dalmatian the baby they're puppies they are puppies Ellie that's what they're called right so Papa Central we got three of them plus she's joined by her little sister who once again is in the micro doll form which I just don't I like her new outfit but Liz just doesn't wear this sort of clothes it's like toddler wear she looks like a toddler and I take Ah, uh, I, I take exception to this. <laughs> I still think I've ranted before about how I think Liz should be like an in-between size mini doll, but anywho, here she is, new outfit in micro, do micro doll form. So, you know, never complaining about a new outfit, just complaining about the fact that <laughs> she looks like a toddler poor thing. Okay, three dogs, two characters. Let's have a look at the actual build itself. So pet playground it is. Let's see, we, the first bag is dedicated to the first book, which is nice and logical. Building like a little yellow mini house. Ooh, we're straight into the poops. So we got a poo, we've got, got a green garbage bin with another poo in it. Where are the plastic bags for these poops? Are we just dropping poo straight into the bin now? That's abhorrent. Uh, some cleaning up tools, which is very good. A broom and a shovel. I mean, somebody missed the bin with one of the poos. So obviously they just ignored the tools, which is... Ah, oh, humans. Will we ever learn? Anyway, we <laughs> moved on from that. The next part here is, oh, I've put the wrong colour on here. It's so hard to tell between the coral and that pink colour in the instructions. So I just kind of had to, yeah, it was only when I got to the pink that I went, oh, hold on, that looks different to the coral. So yeah, the, okay, got them right now. So this is, got some brown tall pillars, pink yeah, pink dot on the top, a little turnstile to go into the dog park. So they call it a pet playground, but it's really, I mean, it comes with all the dogs, right? So I'm going to assume that this is a dog playground. You could bring any of your pets here, like your hamster, your snake, your lizard, whatever. But I don't think they're going to have a super amount of fun with all the dogs that are currently here. So this is the turnstile, which is the entry into the dog park, which is what I'm now calling it. <laughs> and on the top, we get some signage, which is nice. It's actually buildable signage. So we've got... But uh, we're building a big bone. Once again, does this not kind of dictate that this is a dog park and there are dogs on the sign? Which is a printed piece, which is interesting because this is not a four plus set. Anyway, all right, all little details, but let's get, let's 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 actually concentrate on the building. So we've got our turnstile entryway, and this is a round thing with many colored dots in the corners and some seats. And a spinny wheel, a steering wheel in the middle so you can steer it round and round and round because it goes on this little black axle kind of thing which allows it to spin. It's one of those things you get on, you get giddy and you turn around and around and around so much and you're having heaps and heaps of fun while you're on there but when you get off you realise exactly how queasy you are and then possibly throw up. So we can put all of the puppies on here, we'll put, we'll put Liz on here too. I wonder if there's, I mean, Andrea can't really sit in there but she can stand on there with one foot on one stud. So yeah. Everyone can join in on the fun, not just the puppies. So another round piece now. Got some 
Got some leafage going on with a bit of flowerness. Ah, oh, see, neither of those are words. Leafage and flowerness are not words. We've got a seesaw, so that's cool. This is going to be really cute fun. Do dogs even play on this stuff, though? This is really... <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of make believe, right? Dogs don't get on the spinny thing and spin around, and they don't tend to get on a seesaw. Maybe they would if it was provided for them in a dog park. Maybe I'm just delusional. So anyway, here are the end, the pieces at the end of this bag. I mean, they can be trained to do all of these things. Maybe it's a training ground. Up to bag number two, and let's see. So we've got all of our extraneous parts of the bill, the extra parts. Now we actually get the playground part. That was a lot of peas, but I managed okay. So nice translucent pieces in this. We've already seen a yellow bit at the top of the sign and these nice orange bricks, really nice to get some more translucency through pieces in varying colors. Over here, some more of the big nice tile pieces with the jumper studs in brown. I'm liking to see more of these because they're really, really useful for tables and stuff like that. Anyway, getting distracted. Got a uh, green roundy bit over here not sure what's happening this is a tree I mean this is pretty clearly a tree nice that goes into the little plug there and it's a palm tree because it's near the beach it's on the sandy beach that's why we're on a tan base plate oh this is lovely so it's a hot dog park near the beach and in, <laughs> even though it's near the beach they have their own little dedicated sand pit section I like those little corner light yellow panel pieces to turn that into a box, like a little boxed playground bit. And it's on jumper, on the jumper studs so you can actually remove it. So this looks like, no it's not water, so this is just going into a little green play area section with some stepping stones in gumball colours. That's really cute. <laughs> it's very cute. And at the back in brown and orange which are not colors I would have expected but they tie in really nicely with the beach like with the sand theme got a little light aqua slide coming off the end some clips here to hold on all oh, those slope pieces are going to prevent anything from being able to stand up near those clips anyway so this is a like a little rock climbing wall to get up into the fort into the play fort <laughs> it's adorable. But once they get up there, they're going to kind of slide around on those slope pieces. Oh, there's steps. So we got steps coming up the front. You can go up the rock wall section. And there's just an intimation, like the tiniest suggestion of fencing going on there. So yes, this is a fenced park, but you have to just pretend that it's more fenced. But, you know, there is fencing here. And we've got another a water play area, once again, in a box. You can alternate these. You can move them around off on their jumper studs or even take them off put them wherever you want them to be so we've got water we've got sand mix those two together what have you got a nice really really messy dog that needs a bath when it gets home on the top is of the fort bit obviously we need our peaked bit it just looks like a nice big sand castle it's really cute <laughs> So this is it, our pet papa playground, which was really fun to say. Oh, I'm not quite there yet. So these are, these candle pieces in alternating colors are a train, be a part of their training course so they can knock that off, jump over it. The idea is not to knock it off. So it's a jumpy overy thing. So they can go through this course. You can set up a whole dog training course here. You can pop them in the, <laughs> pop them in the sand for reward or they can go in the water. Oh, it's really, really cute. I can think of all sorts of configurations that you can set this up in. All right, so Andrea and her sister here. We've got a spare stick. No, that's all right. That's something that can be spare because that was actually in the tree. Okay, all right. So all sorts of ways you can set this up. You can train the puppies or they could be having fun. You can, yep, be environmentally cleaning up all of those poops, which is very, very important. If you take your dogs out, you take their poops with you as well. When you go home, don't leave them for other people to step in. I'm not scarred by that happening to me, no. <laughs> right, okay, that's enough now. We have finished this Lego set. It's a good one. It's very, very cute. If you like puppies, there are three of them in here. So <laughs> I would highly recommend it to you if you are a Papa fan. Okay, I will see you with another build very, very soon. Make sure you subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought about the set, and check back in, because another video coming up really soon. I'll see you then. Bye!